some of our closing moments here, but a story that was shared with me by a dear friend who shared with me about a revival that was taking place at a church in Texas. And uh, at that revival on the front seat was an older African-American, young, uh, older African-American man, man that was sitting there. And this young man got up that uh, was there in that service, and he'd been so gripped with conviction about the racism that was in that local community in a small town in Texas that he, he took a, uh, a shoe brush and he walked over to this elderly gentleman and he knelt on his knees and began to shine his shoes. And uh, tears began to flow uh, in that service. Uh, it was an attitude of, uh, of conviction. So I, I invite folks to just to, to put some words to action here. And if we need to find somebody that needs to have their shoe shine, we need to just go right on over and shine their shoes. And uh, whether they got tennis shoes on or not, maybe they got sandals on, it really doesn't matter. But there's a time in which we need to have, you know, some, some personal action here. Maybe we need to give them a hug, too, brother. <laughs> and, some, and, some, and some stock in Chick-fil-A. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, <laughs> I, I bought about 1,500 of these, and I gave them all our Chick-fil-A operators and staff a number of years ago. And uh, so any expressions of a contrite heart, of a sense of humility, a sense of shame, a sense of embarrassment, uh, beget with an apologetic heart, I think that's